All right, second grade, today we are going to be making a jack-o'-lantern using positive and negative space. Jack-o'-lanterns are a great example of those things. So at the drive-thru, you need to grab a big black paper, you need to grab a smaller orange, and two squares of orange and black. Put those off to the side. Now the first thing you need to do is line up your paper exactly like this. Black paper's horizontal. Is this horizontal? No, that's vertical. Line it up horizontal and your orange paper goes right on top. I'm doing my best to get the corners to match up evenly at the side. Now I'm going to be drawing half of a pumpkin here. It needs to start two fingers from the top and end two fingers from the bottom. I'm going to draw the stem which is a horizontal line, a vertical line, and a big C. Now is the part where I need to draw the mouth. Now when you're drawing the mouth, it needs to be nice and big. I'll show you what not to do on the back. Sometimes I have kids and they draw maybe a mouth with a zigzag and they have the zigzag be super spiky. That's really hard to cut. So when you're doing a zigzag or even a castle line, it needs to be nice and big, all right? Castle lines shouldn't be really tiny and small. That's too tricky to cut. Make them nice and big. All right, flip that over. Let's see. I'm going to do maybe a zigzag on this mouth. So starting at the edge, really big zigzags and a curve. I'm ready to cut. My scissors need to follow this pencil line like a trail. No shortcuts today. Your scissors need to stay on the pencil line. We're gonna be using every piece that you cut out today. So none of this should be going in the garbage. None of these people, pieces should get wrecked. Following my pencil line. This is why my zigzag needs to be nice and big and kind of simple. Otherwise it's too tricky to cut. All right, I need all these pieces and let's put it back together like a puzzle. Line up my corners, nice and perfect. Line up my pumpkin and my mouth. Now here's where we get to see the positive and negative space. The positive space is gonna be the paper, the orange paper. The negative space, the missing stuff, will be when the black shines through. So I'm gonna take this pumpkin and turn it like a page in a book, okay? I'm gonna leave my mouth where it is in the middle. So I have positive space where it's there and negative space where it's missing, that's where it's black. Positive space for my pumpkin, where it's missing is black. Now, here's a tricky part. I need to glue. To glue, I lay it out first, just like this. Then I turn this over and do a few dots of glue. Those dots of glue should be no bigger than your pinky fingernail. Nice and small, not a puddle, not a lake, little tiny dots of glue around the edge. Careful, careful, flip it over, line up the corners. Is this lined up? Nope, that's not gonna look good. Line up the corners, best you can, press it down and count to 10. Okay, that looks nice. And if I get any glue on my hands, I just rub my hands together and it will peel off. Same thing is gonna happen to my pumpkin. Turn it over, a few dots of glue around the edge, carefully turning it so that the corners will just touch. Is that just touching? What went past? I want just that corner to touch there, and just that corner at the bottom to touch there. Hold it down the best you can and count to 10. Last shape to glue is the mouth. Tiny dots of glue. Line up the corners and glue it down. Now my pumpkin needs some eyes and that's what these two pieces are for. So here's a little art trick. I need the eyes to be exactly the same size and shape. So I'm gonna line up the black with the orange and I'm gonna cut once. This is a good trick. Your shapes could be circles, they could be smaller squares, they could be triangles. Black is gonna go on orange Orange is going to go on black. One dot of glue. Shake, shake, shake. One dot of glue. My pumpkin is done. 
Last thing that needs to happen is flip it over and write your name. This says C and your class code. We'll be able to see pencil on the black paper, so don't worry about that. When it's done, it goes into the drying rack.